I have to give you all the garden tour before we mow because it's such a jungle. The clover is blooming. I'd say about 40% of the lawn is now clover. And we've got a broccoli in there. Our potatoes haven't done anything yet. And this is a little pear tree. And daisies and a big butterfly bush and an apple tree. And these are filberts or American hazelnuts and we have three of them. There's one near the pond. And this is our big foam flower and our new viburnum. We have a miniature ginkgo. And these two beauties are our mimosas. I'm so excited to have them because I remember them from childhood. That is a plum tree, of which we have two different varieties for pollination. And this is our fish pond with the Petasites japonicus. It's huge and it's starting to fill in so you can't see the parking lot behind it with our bamboo. We've got some nice things there. Um, we have this border here that's under the Norway maple. So it's a little tricky, but I am getting some things to grow. Uh, something's eating, eating our little, um, one of our little cherries. So I have to start spraying that with something. Here's one of our dogwoods. And so here is our oak leaf hydrangea called Gatsby Moon with our giant hosta. I really like the way these look together trying to create a woodland border with things that are tall enough here and there to block that orgly, orgly view. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of good things here. I have a goat's beard and different flowering shrubs that are gonna get tall. And then I have my circle garden. This all used to be an above ground pool and packed sand so it's really lush now. I've been building soil. I've got a couple of hydrangeas in there and a nice big peony, um, a caryopteris, which is going to bloom blue in the end of the summer, a climbing rose here, um, another rose here. I'm really loving the way this is looking. The roses are coming out and I have kind of layers of clematis and my um, Nepeta white salvia on both sides and yarrow. This is another apple tree. It's surrounded by comfrey, which is sort of a green manure. It's good um, fertilizer. And another peony with lots of buds. And here's our little tomato station. Um, yeah, this is uh, the sitter is blue flowers with a little yellow yarrow. I was trying to make something that looked like a pond with sunshine on it. Wow, this hydrangea is really getting big this year. So excited about it. Uh, so here we go. We got our little, one of our bird baths, another peony, some of that marvelous uh, perennial geranium, a butterfly bush, uh, sweet williams just starting to come out. And, oh, I do have a red one. Good. Um, that's going to be a false indigo there, and it's going to all be blue. Let's see. Ooh, through the jungle. Um, there's some more clematis that's going to be blooming and climbing roses here. I think I really need to do an arch because this stuff is getting lush, and I don't know, the little, the little stands aren't, aren't cutting it anymore. Um, more roses, lots of lemon balm everywhere. Here we go, lots of tall clover. Um, this is my problem area over here. <laughs> and then it gets a little better. Another peony. This is yellow twig dogwood. Um, these are where our pets are buried along here with the little statues. And here's yet another dogwood with its first ever buds this year. Super excited about that. Uh, yep. 
So along this border, just more flowers. It looks jungly, but everything has a purpose. Um, our kale, when I just flung the, the extra seed last year, as you can see, it just has grown everywhere and is blooming. This is Fred's grave and it's a flower garden with um, unfortunately some kale, but a lot of little flower seedlings. They're gonna be mostly zinnias. This is one of our great elderberries. It's just gotten so big. Uh, another apple tree with its comfrey. Here's our onion patch. And there's a little elderberry that just suckered last year and I moved it. And look how big it's gotten. Here's our other plum tree. Um, yeah, these are uh, native chokeberries, another elderberry. Here we go into the garden. I'm pretty excited about the garden. I've got some buckwheat growing for a cover crop. This all along here is garlic. Uh, this is just some more giant kale that fell over. It got so heavy. And here I'll put our tomatoes in here and our bean cheapies and our squash with our beans. They're all just still little. Um, this is another variety of chokeberry and it's going to be covered this year. This is um, a comfrey that is kind of eating my blueberry bush, so I'm going to cut that back and um, drop it for, for some compost. And look at our little blueberry bushes. They're just loaded this year. I mean, the plants are still pretty pretty small but wow so I'm I'm really excited about those and uh, let's see we have um, over there those are yesberry bushes they're a super berry that right there is a tea um, olive which is a very fragrant shrub that reminds me of my grandmother um, this lilac it's only the second year it's bloomed, but it's getting nice and big, and I just love that pretty bloom. And um, yeah, so this is our this is our jungle, guys. Let me also show off our amazing deck. Hmm. Okay, here I go. This isn't very elegant. You can hear our parrot screaming. This is our peppermint patch. We're going to mow tomorrow, so the glory of all this uh, clover is going to be gone. Here's our generator. God bless it. Another look at our tomato tomato deck there. And a better look at all the trees. Um, here, our deck railing is covered with clematis, hops, and honeysuckle. And the peach honeysuckle is just getting ready to open and the red orange honeysuckle has opened and, the, and here's the hops and it is so vigorous it just i think it grows six inches a day i'm not even joking i'm gonna have to train it and rescue some things from it well there's a peach one that's open a little seating area and then our deck boxes are are um pansies that I start early in the spring and then the nasturtiums I seed them with nasturtiums and this is our herb garden our little planters just annual that's the trampoline garden which used to be a trampoline area and now it's kind of a um, a nursery where I start things but I do have conquered grapes there it's trash day <laughs> and this little bed has lilies and um, allium in it. This is our Rose of Sharon tree. And then our front has daylilies and a big columbine that volunteered and a late blooming lilac that's pink and very fragrant that actually was a sucker from my son Noah's that I planted many years ago. Um, we have um, all this good stuff, the drift roses in the back. And that's all folks.